Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Awesome. That is really good to hear. Yeah, I am ready to learn English. <laughs> I can see we have today Sarah, Natalie, Robin, Mr. Molina. Thank you very much. You're welcome. How was you? Hello. Hi, Natalie. How are you? Fine, thank you. Estoy haciendo tarea, vaya para allá. All right, yeah, it's fine, don't worry. Okay, so how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Emerson, thank you for joining. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good. And you? Awesome. I'm I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Everything is is going well, so that's important. And uh, well, we are starting a new week, right? So pretty much, I really hope this can be awesome as well. All right. So welcome everybody. It is really nice to have you here. Uh, we are going to start with number two. Okay. And uh, oh, we had homework, right? So there yes. was a little homework assignment that you had to complete. Okay, so let me see. That was about illnesses, right? Illness. So teníamos que hacer una listita por ahí de todas las enfermedades que normalmente sufrimos, right? And para compartirlas el día de ahora. So, uh, how are you doing with that? Lograron encontrar alguna? Dijo alguien, vamos a conocernos de todo lo que nos pasa, right? And uh, todo lo que, todas las enfermedades que nos vienen. So, ¿encontraron un par? Did you find a couple? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are, are they common illness? Yeah, sometimes are a, a common illness. For example, sore, sore throat. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, sort of when they change the climate. Yeah, that's the, very the, the summer change. Yes. Uh -huh, um, uh, but uh, uh, in my case, I, I like the, the soccer. Okay. I I, I have a, a, a little pain in my knee. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but it's only the knee. Huh? Only. only the knee. Solo la knee. rodilla, right? Sí, only uh -huh. the knee. Right. Only the knee. Okay. Okay, thank you. So sore throat, okay, sometimes pain in your knee. Okay. Uh, what about the others? Encontraron alguna enfermedad? Did you find any illness? Chikungunya. Oh, chikungunya. Okay, okay. Y todavía quedan los dolores, right? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. That's awful. Horrible, right? Did you have chikungunya o también fueron leyendas? Urban jet plane. Oh. <laughs> you, were, <laughs> you were, oh, okay, awesome, that's really good. I had chikungunya, but it was not, uh, <laughs> it was hard, it was really painful. Okay, but anyways, so chikungunya, you said, a sore throat, a pain in your knees, ¿Qué más? Girls, what about women power? Girls, what about you? Tenemos Tatiana also, Roxana, sí. Claudia, thank yeah, you. Claudia. And Natalie, Sarah, Natalie. right here. Okay. What about you girls? For me, teacher, only stomach age. Only stomach age. All right. So you're very healthy. Yes. Bastante saludable. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Lisa. Yeah. Hello, also. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Claudia, Hello. go ahead, please. Must call cramps, uh, calambre. Ah, okay, like cramps? Uh-huh. 
Okay, so you get Most cramps. Cramp. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in what part of your body or in any part? Uh, in the uh, in left. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So cramps in your legs, yeah. Cramps nos pueden dar en diferentes partes, right? Like for example, mm -hmm. podemos tener eh, calambres en el abdomen, right? Um, for women, sería en la parte abdominal, vientre, you know. So, okay, cramps en las piernas, all right, thank you. Anybody else? I'm sorry, Roxana, can you repeat? Like, okay, <laughs> okay, I guess, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know, it is, uh, I don't know if it is bad or not. But I think, like, yeah, yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know if it is an illness, right? But, but it is something that bothers, right? Es algo bien molesto. So, all right, excellent. That sounds great to me. So we're going to get started today. Um, we are going to practice this illness, okay? So just bear with me a second. We are going to get started. Uh, first, let me uh, present my screen. We are going to get started today. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So we are going to continue talking about illness. We are going to give some recommendations, okay? So this is session number five, okay? And um, give me a sec here, okay. So this is the objective. We are going to use some model words to uh, request and also suggest, okay? Um, we are going to, last week, revisamos un poquito lo de should, Revisamos cómo dar recomendaciones utilizando it, it is a good idea to. Um, today vamos a practicar un poquito más los models, all right? And of course, vamos a tener oportunidad de practicar. So first, please get your micro, um, your microphone ready. Vamos a practicar pronunciación, all right? Here we have a short conversation. Uh, please let me know if you are able to see the, the conversation. Si no quieren, um, well, para hacerlo, you know, more dynamic, pueden escribir number one en el chat para saber que sí, you know. So, hagamos eso. Number one is a yes, number two is a no. Así también puedo monitorear, you know, um, how we are doing there. So, please get your microphone ready. Let me read this for you and please just repeat. So, we have the pharmacist and the person says, Hi, may I help you? Let's repeat. Hi, Hi may I help you? May I help you? Yes, yes. Could I have something for a cup? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cup? I think I'm getting a cold. I, I think, think I'm getting, getting a cold. cold. Getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these uh, cough drops. Where? Well, well, I get a box of these drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Thank, Thank you. you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Dry skin. Try some of this new lotion. Try, Try some, some of these new lotions. lotions. It's very good. It's very good. Very good. It's very good. Very good. Okay, and one more thing. Okay, and one more, one more thing. thing. One more thing. My husband has no energy these days. My husband My has, has no energy these days. Day. No energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. He should, he should try, try some, some of these multivitamins. multivitamins. They're excellent. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Great. Great. I have three large bottles, Excellent, very good job. Now let's repeat this. Cough. 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 Eye skin. 
dry skin. Dry skin. What is the meaning of dry skin? Dry skin. Bien reseca. Exactly. Like when your skin is dry, right? And the even como poros, you know, secos and all that stuff. So uh, here also we have vitamins, multivitamins. So this is the word that we have here, vitamins, right? So last time we were talking about uh, this, all right? So today we are going to try to give more recommendations. First, let's take a look at this. We have a cough, all right? Have also dry skin. And we have also these other health problems. My husband has no energy, okay? And here we have the recommendation. Recommendation one, get cough drops, okay, for the cough. The second one is a lotion. And the third is multivitamins because the husband doesn't have a energy. Now, your activity, all right? Your duty right now, it's the next. You are going to come out, okay? You're going to think about one more recommendation for each of these health problems, all right? So vamos a buscar una recomendación, only one more para cada uno de esos problemas, all right? So for example, remember, these are the health problems. Number one, a cough, like, <coughs> number two, uh, dry skin, so your skin is dry. And the third, you have no energy. So you're like, oh, I don't wanna do anything, okay? So those are the problems. I will give you two minutes, okay? You can yep. think of uh, one recommendation for each problem, that's fine. So two okay. minutes, all right? Get ready, please. I am right here, so if you have any question or anything, please let me know. Okay, so time is over. Let's get it started with the first. I have a terrible cough. Okay, let's. <laughs> So what's your recommendation? It is important to drink water liquid. liquid. Okay, very good. Thank you, Lisette. So it is important to drink liquid water, right? Uh, or anything you can drink. Okay, perfect. Any Anybody else? Volunteers? Me. Thank you, Sarah. I suggest to drink uh, chamomile tea in the night before to sleep. 
Oh, great. Okay, chamomile tea. Thank you. What about the following? Um, let me see. I have dry skin. What's the recommendation? I suggest to buy a, a soap with vitamin E. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. That's a really good one. Emerson, I'm sorry, I saw you like eager to. Vicky quería participar. Go ahead, please. Okay. And you can drink uh, a lot of water because you you can be the daily writer. Okay, thank you very much, Emerson. Okay, that's all right. Roxana, I also saw you around. Tell me. Yeah. Um, you, should, you should drink um, a lot of water and eat uh, fruit. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. They are really nice recommendations. What about the last? You should, Robin. For dry skin, you should use uh, cream. A cream? Which cream do you recommend? Like a, like a body lotion, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, any recommendation? Any specific body lotion you recommend? Mm. Something maybe you have used before? Algo que le funcionó? Que he escuchado? Anything? I don't remember the, the brand of this cream. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, do you remember any brand that you can recommend? Aloe vera. Oh, okay, okay. Aloe vera. Oh, Thank you. That's okay. Cream moisturizer. Humectante. No, okay, okay. A moisturizer. Okay. Moisturizer. Thank you. Yeah, that's okay. That's a really good one. And what about the last health problem? So you are feeling like down. You have no energy. All day you're like, oh, I don't want to do anything. So what is the recommendation? <laughs> Besides vitamins, vitamins are important. But okay, Matt, what else? You should eat more uh, health food. Okay, okay. So you should eat more, not more pupusas, yeah. right? Healthy food. <laughs> okay, okay. And it's correct that it's correct that say uh, eat less. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, Dígalo en español. Le ayudamos. Don't worry. Uh, sure, you should eat less meat. Podría meat. ser también like carbohidratos, carbohydrates. Yeah, so meat. You should eat less meat. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Tatiana? Do you have any recommendation for us? You should uh, you should visit the doctor. Oh, okay. You should visit uh -huh. the doctor. Okay, okay. That's all right. Very good. So you're uh -huh. awesome. That's really Don't good, guys. Walk, walk daily uh, oh, okay. for to revive him. So you should walk daily. Thank you, Claudia. Don't walk to work. I'm so sorry. Could you refresh that? Too far. Don't walk to far. Oh, okay. Like okay. Not to be, there is, okay, I gotcha. Let me share also this word with you. In English, hay una palabra que también usamos. Let me share this in the chat. That is a workaholic. Workaholic. So that is workaholic. So don't be a workaholic. Que no sea un adicto, right? Work Al trabajo. Mm -hmm. Don't be a workaholic or <laughs> You said that right. So, que no trabaje mucho. Don't work too much. Okay, perfect. Awesome, guys. Very good job. Okay, now um, we are going to go for the following. Vamos a escuchar un video. We're going to be listening to this video. Creo que algunos ya lo escucharon de la plataforma. All right. Y si no, you know, vamos a avanzar un poquito as well. So, let's listen to the following video. Veamos cómo se utilizan los morals para que luego los podamos utilizar. All right? Okay. Let me ask. All right, here we go. May I have a bottle of aspirin? 
What do you suggest for dry skin? Okay, hold on, this is a wrap. Give me just a second. Refresh this. Can you hear that? No, I hear. Uh, were, uh, were you able to listen to the video? Escucharon el video? No. No, no nothing. The, the video no. is a stop. Oh. Stand by. Okay, let me try one more time. Hold on a second. Okay. Here we go. Hello everyone, this time we will be introduced to the model verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Were you able to listen to that? Yes. Can confirm it, please? Yes, okay. Yes. Yes. okay. Yes. yes, yes. Awesome, all right, so let's continue. Modal verbs can, could, may. Hey teacher, the video no, no room. I'm so sorry. Uh, the, the, the video no room. Um, are you able to listen to the video? Huh? No, we can't hear it. No, it's it's not. No have a. There's no volume. No, no the the video is just is standby. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, eh, el, el video no se mueve. Solamente uh -huh. es como el la listening, ajá, el, la parte del listening. But lo uh -huh. lograron escuchar. No. You can hear it. You can, oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Okay, so I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Hold on, let me try one more time. Y si no lo hacemos, like, old school, all right? So here we go. Una capela. Can you? Capela, le, le, really. Can, can you listen to this? No. No, no nothing. Not yet. No problem. So, it's, so let's take a look at the, the model verbs, all right? Let's repeat. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? May I help you? May I help you? May I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Can, Can I, I have, have a box, have a box of, of, of drops? Drop? Uh, drop. Could I have something for a cough? Could I, I have, have something, something for, a for, a for a cough? For a cough? A bottle of aspirin? May yeah. yeah. I have a bottle of aspirin? A bottle of aspirin. Very good. So let's take a look at this. Well, some of can, could, and may to express requests or suggestions. Con should, decimos tú deberías, right? You should, no es una obligación. It's only my opinion and my recommendation. Also, we use can, could, para dar recomendaciones, right? So can and could son sobre posibilidades. Can I have a box of cough drops? Podría tener una caja, all right? Could I have something for a cough? Podría tener algo para la tos, all right? So, pretty much can and could, los utilizamos para preguntas. If you check this out, could es mucho más formal que can, pero ambos están bien. Both are fine. May, incluso es mucho más formal, all right? May I have a bottle of aspirin? Es mucho más formal que ambos, all right? So, los utilizamos para eh, dar requests que son como solicitudes, right? Like, when you come to your boss y le preguntan, jefe, ¿puedo tener un día libre? So, and then you go, can I have a day off? Could I have a day off? And may I have a day off? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? 
aparte de la cuestión gramatical, es el significado. May es mucho más cortés, ¿all right? Eh, no es tanto la formalidad, sino la cortesía. When you say, may I help you, es muy cortés. May I have a day off, es muy cortés. May I have a bottle of aspirin, está siendo muy cortés. Eh, Sarah, I'm sorry, tenía pregunta, vi por ahí, de Hannah. Tell me. Uh, so, can and may is the same thing. Eh, in questions, eh, lo resumimos a lo que suena más cortés y más formal. Pero el significado sería bien similar. So, no hay como mayor diferencia en, en ellos. So, if I ask you, for example, hey, can you help me? So, es solamente como, ¿puedes ayudarme? May, um, so, obviamente estoy pidiendo, right? And may I, yeah. es pretty much the same thing, pero de una manera más corta, mucho más formal, all right? And uh, here, están como las, um, the suggestion. And the person says, what do you suggest for dry skin? Solamente como sugerente puedo usar, you should, you can. Obviously, if I tell you, you should, is like, tú deberías. If I tell you, you can, es tú puedes. Aún es una recomendación, pero más de posibilidades. Puedes hacer esto, esto y esto, right? And may, yeah. you may, es como puedes. Pero como el maybe, no estoy segura, all right? So that's the way we use them. But if you pay attention, tenemos can, could, and may for requests and suggestions. So here, lo vamos a usar eh, de forma bastante similar, all right? Las diferencias son mínimas. Being said that, let's take a look at some exercises. Give me just a second. Okay, hold on. Let me share my screen one more time. Okay, so if you check this out, we have right here. Okay, it says here. Write some sentences using the structure. By the structure, I mean this. Utilizando can, could. En May, vamos a dar recomendaciones, all right? So, we are, vamos a hacer preguntas, first of all. Vamos a hacer como sugerencias, all right? Or uh, requests. But, algunos de ustedes escribieron problemas que tenían, right? Some health problems. So, vamos a compartir. What we are going to do right now is this. Vamos a preguntarle al compañero lo que pueden tomar para su problema. For example, si usted mencionó que tiene uh, bien seguido problemas de, let me think, for example, a, a sore throat, ok, podemos hacerlo aquí, así, you know. Um, what do you suggest, ok, what do you suggest for a sore throat, ok, and here vamos a intentar utilizar el vocabulario. So you can say, oh, try chamomile tea, try honey and lemon. Um, If you check this out, the person says, I suggest some ointment. Ointment is como una crema, right? Como un ungüento. So, I suggest some ointment. ¿Cuándo recomendarían un ointment? Maybe for a dry skin, okay? Probablemente cuando se ha quemado. Maybe when you have burned your skin. So, an ointment, okay? Uh, probably, so, and, and we can start thinking, okay? So, this is what we will be doing. Vamos a preguntar, all right? So we are going to ask sobre los problemas. And of course, this is the question. What do you suggest for? Y mencionamos el problema de salud que ustedes tienen. Are we good? Are we clear? Yeah. Ok, ok. Vamos a usar this right yeah, now. Yeah, it's ok. okay. We're yeah. going to use this right now. Perfect. So give me just a second. Vamos a hacer parejas. We're going to make some... Stairs, so you can practice and, okay, just a second, okay, and here you go. Uh, please join the groups, we'll give you just five minutes so we can practice. If you have questions, please let me know.
Lotion. Body lotion. Okay. With vitamin D. Okay, but I'm going to say allergic, allergic, it's very allergic, right? Allergic. Allergic, okay. But I allergic um, the, the lotion, body lotion. Okay, if you are allergic for that, you you used and uh, try with um, the first recommendation and drink a lot of water. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're doing a really good job, so <laughs> let's just continue. Okay, uh, and yes, by the way, uh, si es um, allergies, but si dice soy alérgica, si sería I, I, I am allergic. I am allergic. Mm -hmm. I am allergic. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Or tengo alergia, so I have allergies. Uh, ambas eh, son válidas, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, ¿cuáles son sus enfermedades más comunes? What are your most common illnesses? For me, headache. <laughs> okay, but, but come on. Me imagino que de vez en cuando tiene a cold eh, or algo, anything. <laughs> Pero es que es como que rara vez que yo, o sea, me duele algo o padezco de algo. You're so lucky. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so Robin, just a second. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Quizás haya como al mes o a los dos meses, quizás un medio dolor de cabeza, pero o sea, no es normal. O sea, no lo veo así como que frecuente. Awesome, awesome. That's and good. usually with headache. But when you say usually, you mean like every day? Yes. Wow. Casi no se le escucha. Is it, is it migraine or just a headache? Just a headache. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, but it's not very yeah. common, right? All right. Emerson, what about you? Um, pues enfermo, enfermo. De gripe solo una vez al año, pero <laughs> headache um, usually. Oh, okay, okay. But usually like every day as well? No, twice a week or mm -hmm. three times a week. Oh, okay, okay. Not that often. Ni tan tan a menudo, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. That's dangerous. Okay, very good. So, los dejo que sigan practicando. Tenemos un par de minutitos mientras voy a ver cómo están los demás, all right? So, let's keep practicing. Okay. You are so yes, are so true. You you can uh, eat spring. Hello, hello. Hey, I'm you. sorry hello. to cut in. How are yeah. you doing here? Como les está yendo? How's everything? Good. Yes, I believe. <laughs> uh, my my disease allergies. Ah, okay. What? Uh, you allergic to? Hello? Yeah, what are you allergic to? A que le tiene alergia? Ah, uh, I want to eat shrimp. Oh, okay, sí. good. <laughs> what What do you get when you eat shrimps? Que le da? What do you get? Ah, uh, I have, no, um, my lips mm -hmm. are swollen. It. <laughs> and I have to take a prednisone. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. But have you ever eaten shrimps? ¿Alguna vez has comido? Y es exagerado. Sí. Okay. <laughs> Was it a bad experience? ¿Fue una mala experiencia? Was it bad? 
Yes, because eh, eh, me tuvieron que ingresar. No sé cómo se dice. So you were in the hospital. And Sarah, what about you? Uh, I said cough <laughs> because I am very happy, but um, mostly I believe there is uh, another thing. Mm -hmm. But wait, 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 wait. Measles is not very common. Measles is sarampión. It's not like uh, varicella. No? Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Se parecen. They are very similar, but measles is sarampión. So um, I believe measles ya, ya no existe, I think, porque hay una, hay una <laughs> vacuna. There, there is a vaccination, oh. I think. Or, I don't know. Yeah, but I think it's not. Uh, so, le, le voy a, acá le comparto en el chat. So, varicella, okay. it's called chicken pox. I don't know why chicken pox, but that's the name. Okay. <laughs> so, chicken pox? Guys, yeah, that's chicken pox. So, that's varicella. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice. I know. Did, did you have chicken pox? Yeah, when I was um, five years old, I believe. And right. was the most um uh, the most how do you say peor one Earth? no uh-huh yeah yeah sure the, the, what the run the most run thing that i have it like the, the worst moment in your life yeah <laughs> and but i was shy but doesn't matter <laughs> because i remember all the days that I have it, that kind of thing. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I, I got a question, and I'm sorry, I'm very curious. Um, did yeah. you get a scars? Like, when you get chicken pox, people say that you get scars in your skin. Uh, that, what is a scar? Scars on, like, uh, cicatrices, right? Like, chicken pox <sighs> scars. Oh. Yeah, but with the time disappear <laughs> because okay. now I don't have it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's all right. Well, that uh, you were really lucky <laughs> that yeah. they disappeared with the time. Okay, well, it was really nice talking to you guys. You have a really good English level, so this is just um, pre intermediate. Keep practicing. It was nice to talk to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Give me just a second. I'm going to uh, monitor another group how they are doing. All right. So just one okay. more minute. Okay. We will be back. Right. Um, we will be back. Okay. Okay. Hi, teacher. I have a question. Hello. Hi, Roxana. Sure. Tell me, what is your question? Um, what is the date to this course finish? Um, the what course, is yeah, the course takes only four weeks. So this is the second. Uh, I don't have the specific date, but it means we will have only uh, two more weeks to go. But my recommendation siempre es, entre más rápido termine la plataforma, mucho mejor para usted, all right? So, si se puede adelantar un poquito a las clases, pues muchísimo mejor. Y acá solamente venimos a practicar lo que ya revisó y a solventar uh, cualquier okay. duda que le quede. Yes. So, eh, algunos eh, ya veo que van por la 3, la sesión número 3, así que perfecto, vamos con ese ritmo. Si usted me dice mañana, mire, yo ya terminé las cinco sesiones, awesome, usted obtiene inmediatamente su diploma y dice pre-intermediate, three, finished, ok. Nos quedamos solamente con la práctica de la clase, all right? Y tiene solo una oportunidad para el examen. Um, fíjese que, I'm sorry, hay muchos perritos alrededor. Um, no le podría confirmar ese dato porque tengo que revisarlo. Um, but la mayoría de ejercicios le permiten dos o tres opciones eh, para que usted practique, right? 
déjame confirmarle el examen. Ya, pero ya terminó. Are you in section number? No, no, no. Section four. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I was really happy, you know. I was like, wow. Awesome. Okay. No. Si tiene la oportunidad de adelantar, eh, usted adelanta hasta todo lo que pueda. All right, no hay problema. Entre más, as I said, entre más rápido tengamos eh, completado, le va a decir, usted terminó 80, 90, 100% del curso, ya puede pasar al siguiente módulo. Nos quedamos pendientes de la inscripción. All right. So, pretty much, esto es como funciona. Y complementamos acá. Right. So, we, um, we have this picking uh, practice here. So everybody, we have only a couple of minutes to go. So, vamos a aprovecharlos too. We're going to take advantage of it. And my last uh, slide is, oh my goodness, give me a second. Okay, my last slide is this one. What's wrong? Veíamos la vez anterior que para preguntar, ¿qué te pasa? What's, uh, ¿qué tenés? All right, hablando de enfermedades, we can ask. What's wrong or what's the matter? So, what's wrong? Take a look at this man. What's wrong? Volunteers. Throat. Okay. He's coughing. All right. So, he is coughing. Okay. Él tiene una tos. He has a cough. Um, what's your recommendation? What's your suggestion? Take syrup. Okay, okay, thank you. I'm so sorry, who was he's that? He take a tea. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Take a tea. Anybody else? He should go to the doctor. Thank you. Who was that? <laughs> oh, thank you, Ivette. All right, I'm looking for the names here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, he should go to the doctor. Uh, what about this girl? What is wrong with her? What do you think? She has fever. Okay. She has fever. fever. Okay. She has fever. Thank you. All right. So um, imagine I tell you, hey, guys, I'm not feeling well. I have a, a high fever. So what do you recommend me? Um, what What's your suggestion? Can you suggest me something, please? You suggest you to... Yeah, <laughs> with that cold water. Okay. You should um, take a shower. I should take a shower. Sarah said yeah. in cold water. Oh, for really? The, for, <laughs> yeah, for the fever, really the fever, the cold water. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I should take a shower with cold water. Thank you. Yeah. That's a really good she one. You should take uh, acetaminophen. Okay. Okay. Imagine my sister is allergic to acetaminophen. So, Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Perfect. Roberto. Rest a lot. Okay, rest a lot. Mr. Molina? Uh, paracetamol, right? Okay, no. paracetamol. Thank right. you. Hey. Isn't it the same as acetaminophen? Yes. No, it's more strong. Yes. Oh, okay. It's a stronger. All right. I didn't know. Anything else? She should, no, she should eat uh, soup. I'm sorry, Roxana, can you say it a little bit louder? She should. Okay, she, she should eat uh, soup, soup. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, I levanta muerto soup, right, <laughs> to get better. My. All right. Mm -hmm. um, somebody <laughs> said, <laughs> what was that? Somebody said um, they suffer headaches. Hey, or maybe she has a headache. Que es un poquito headache. más fuerte, right? So headache or migraine. Um, can you give me one or two recommendations? You should um, take Panadol. Thank you, Emerson. Very good. Any other? Teacher, yes. I suffer uh, migraine too, and I recommend ibuprofen 600 in health. <laughs> It's very, it's very effective. <laughs> okay, um, ibuprofen 600 in in like in a health cap. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Does it work? Yes. Yes, okay. it works yes so much. <laughs> yes. What is so um it will okay, it will prefer no, right? Mm. What else? They siento mili mili algo. Oh okay. <laughs> so it's 
try that one okay um so yes. side effects hay efectos secundarios are there any like side effects no my case no. <laughs> how do you say bicarbonato well we can use baking soda baking soda we can use that okay. one okay? okay um all right so here we have just a couple more. Uh, take a look at this man. And the, um, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this man? ¿Qué le sucede? What's wrong? He's tired. Okay, he's tired. Flu. Flu. Okay, what else? Premier. How do you say the premier? Depressed. The okay, press. depressed. <laughs> well, but this is an enfermedad clínica, right? So, okay. Right. And, and a really hard one, okay? Yeah. Um, and what about the last man? What about Back. this boy? Backage. 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 Okay. So what, what recommendation? Have you ever had a backache? ¿Alguien ha tenido dolor de espalda? Anything? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Me. yes. Sarah, Roxana, anybody else? Who was at the backache? Uh, who said me? <laughs> Zara. <laughs> oh, Zara, thank you. So, uh, what do you recommend for a backache? I suggest to get a massage in the backache. In the back, sorry. Uh, okay, it's okay. No problem. Okay, okay. What else? Again, Matt, any other recommendation? You can sleep in the floor. Oh, okay, okay. Well, night or only for hours? <laughs> No, only for... No, maybe for a, one hours. hour. <laughs> yeah, because I think that if you sleep all night long, you <laughs> wake up with <laughs> all your muscles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but maybe, can we, Emerson or Roberto, can you mention who said that? Yes. I, okay. I, I suggest uh, change position often. Okay. To relax. Okay, very good. 
That, that's very important, especially when you are sitting, right, all day long. So, cuando pasamos sentados and it hurts. Okay, it's important. Thank you. ¿Alguien lo ha hecho? Have you ever done it? ¿Alguien se ha acostado en el, en el piso? Have you ever laid down in the floor? Sarah? Yeah. 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 Only one time. Did it work? ¿Le funcionó? Did it work? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. So they can be like um, good recommendations, right? And especially lo que Roberto mencionó, it's important to cambiar de posición. So change position, stand up, stretch, right? So they are really important. Okay, everybody. Uh, give me just a second. Let me see if we have more time over here for more exercises. Well, I believe we have five minutes. So, um, any question so far? Is there any question? Is everything clear? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, awesome. All right, so you're doing a pretty good job, actually. You know, um, I have to say congratulations because um, veo la emoción, you know, de, de hablar inglés, de, de practicar inglés. So, very good job, everybody. Yeah. You're doing it nicely. So, sigamos así, all right? Try to avoid Spanish. So, just to finish today, okay, let me ask, let me go back to the grammar point, okay? And um, I'm going to ask for some suggestions. So, voy a escoger acá. Un par de um, víctimas. I'm sorry, voluntarios, right? So I'm going to pick up some. <laughs> here. So let me go with Lisette. Por ahí la vi. No sé si todavía está acá. Lisette, yes. Lisette. Yes, uh -huh. awesome. All right. So Lisette, um, hi. Uh, can you help me, please? Tell me about what? Sorry, teacher. I hear. Yes, sure. Let me tell you. Um, I have a problem with my skin. I have dry skin. So what do you suggest? Okay. I suggest you to buy some lotion or cream for apply. And uh, it's good for you to drink vitamin E, vitamin, and a lot of liquid. And eat healthy food. Awesome, very good. Good job. Okay, they are okay. really good recommendations. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't find my emoji here. Hold on a second. I was, oh, yes, I got it. Okay, very good. Very good job. That was nice. Thank okay. you. <laughs> um, let me go with uh, uh, Robin. Okay, Robin, <laughs> can, you, uh, can you please help me with something? Yes. How can I help you? Thank you. Um, look, I have a problem with my migraine. I have a terrible uh, headache. All right. So what do you suggest? Mm -hmm. uh, you should drink some pills, an adult <laughs> Uh Also, you can close your eyes for uh, some minutes. OK. For you can relax. Okay, and very good. Also, you you shouldn't see your cell phone or the computer. Okay, excellent, um, very good. Yes, Robin, okay. go ahead. Very good. That that was awesome. Okay, very good recommendation. And my last victim for today that is going to be Natalie. Hello, Miss Flores. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Awesome. Are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, can you tell me, um, please, two or three health problems or symptoms that you normally get when you feel sick? Sick. Um, drink. Bicarbonato with lemon. Yeah, okay. Or 
Lemon oh. with Coca-Cola. All right. And I'm sorry. Eso, eso sería para. What is the, the symptom? Oh, sí. Sí. I, you say sí. No. Sí. Oh, okay. Okay. So when you're sick. Okay. In general. Uh -huh. So you yes. get. I'm sorry. You said lemon with Coca-Cola. Yes. Uh, and that's good for for when you when you have a cuando tú tienes un mareo. I don't know. Oh, how do you say mareos, guys? Can you help us? Dizzy. Thank dizzy. you. Okay. Dizzy. So when you feel dizzy, okay, uh, you should get a Coca Cola with lemon. You said. Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, that's new for me. I didn't know. All right. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. That's awesome. Okay, everybody. Well, I guess we are running out of time. Okay, so our time is gone. Yeah, our time is gone now. So I have to say thank you, everybody, for participating. Thank you for joining. El tiempo no nos alcanza. I know. So, I hope to see you tomorrow, all right? Intentemos avanzar. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.